All right, so I have some nice green here. I'm just gonna lay down some green. Then I'm gonna put some pink over this green and, come on. Ah, oh, why does this happen? Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Paint Talk. Today I'm gonna to be answering probably the most asked question by beginning oil painters. And that is, I have a hard time keeping my colors separate on the canvas. That when I put a new color in, it mixes in with another color that's on there and they get all mixed and they're not separate. And they get all muddy and just, it's not what they want. They can't control the paint the way they wanna control it. And this is a tricky question because it's a hard question to word. It's a hard question to, to you know, word and put into a YouTube search, into a Google search, which is why I think a lot of people struggle with it and can't find much on it because they don't even, they don't even know how to word the question. And the videos that are out there that probably answer this question and they skip right over it is what anything that's labeled fat over lean, which I've done a video on, I'll put a link to that right here, or working thin to thick, because that's really what it comes down to. Because see, the reason that your paint is mixing in with the other paint that is on the canvas is because the paint on the canvas is already too thick. Uh, you need to start with a thinner layer of paint and, and build it to thicker paint. Because I know a lot of people, they see oil paint, they see all this nice, good, thick, rich paint, and they think that they have to start off right from the bat with thick paint, and you don't. When I first started getting into oil painting, like that was my favorite type of painting was these, you know, landscapes or portraits. It looks like they have really thick paint. And I didn't realize that you build to that thick paint throughout the painting. You know, unless you're doing like a, pal a palette knife painting, that's a whole different process. But it really just comes down to understanding how to control and maneuver the paint and knowing how thick or thin to make it. And I'm gonna show you a demonstration here in a minute and it will definitely help, but honestly, it's just mainly about practice and getting a feel for the paint. And the more you get a feel for it, the more you're gonna be able to manipulate the paint and make it do what you want it to do. So let's do this correct way. Uh, right here I have um, my Gamsol and uh, my oil painting medium. All right, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Gamsol here and I'm gonna just get a thin amount of this green. So you got the paint here. And I'm keeping it rather thin but you see it's still you know there it's not like see-through or transparent <clears throat> now I'm gonna move over and I'm not gonna have any uh, uh, Gamsol on my my brush here wiped it all off and we get some pink paint here and I make sure it's definitely thicker than uh, the green I just got so that it will actually run over top of it I haven't used any medium. I'll show you in a bit if you if you use medium and how medium plays into this whole thing. So I got a good, good amount of pink. Goes over a lot better. And you know, just the more, the thicker the paint that you get on there, the more you're gonna be able to like get a really clean stroke. So let's say if I had a like a pink line going across here. May take one or two strokes to get it, but can definitely go over top of it. There you go, and you can keep building it as much as you want. So I get a lot of people asking me like, where does medium fall in this process? Is it thinner, is it thicker, is it fatter, leaner? So I'm just gonna kind of go over that and I'm just gonna have a gradient and show you like, you know, thinnest to thickest here. Uh, let's start with the red. I actually got it going right here. And this is just uh, paint and Gamsol. You're gonna use this a lot of times for when you're blocking in something, the uh, first stages. And since it's just Gamsol, it's gonna be really thin. Uh, the Gamsol is gonna evaporate, you know, pretty quickly. So it's gonna dry out quicker than any other uh, mixture of, uh, you know, linseed oil or or paint thinner paint. All right, next is going to be with the linseed oil. So take some paint, 
some touch of linseed oil. Let's put this right here. And see, I don't know, it's probably, it might be hard to tell on camera, but it's, it's pretty much almost as thin as this, but since it's the linseed oil, it's keeping a lot of its color. It's not drying out. But this could, you know, go over top of that um, paint with just the Gamsol in it. And you're really not gonna need that much uh, oil painting medium. You know, or not as much as you think. I think people think that they're gonna need a lot of it. You really don't. It's, it's really kind of like a touchy thing and a little goes a long way in terms of changing the consistency of your paint. So you got this and I can easily work over top of that layer. The next is just straight paint. So I'm just gonna get straight red here. And that's just straight, straight red. Go over that, go over. It's gonna be a lot thicker. Not as not as fluid as the linseed oil, but a lot thicker. And if you have some areas, here I'll get it so you can see. If you do have some areas uh, that have oil painting medium, like the linseed oil in it, this. Uh, paint should be able to go over top of it so mix up a green here with some some medium put that put it right here brush. and that's another thing I feel like a lot of people um, overlook is I have a, like an old t-shirt here, you can use paper towels, but I, I clean my brush a lot, like between switching uh, paints and making sure I get the medium off my paint. If the next part I'm gonna paint, I don't want the, the medium on it. So just be aware of always, you know, cleaning your brush thoroughly between changing mixtures. All right, so if I take some of this paint, just straight paint, nothing on it, got the linseed oil, you're gonna be able to go over top of it. So, Gamsol, medium, paint. Thin, thicker, thickest. Uh, now there are variations between all these. You know, it's whatever you want it to be. Like there's times that I'll be painting, I'll still be using just the uh, Gamsol, but I'll be using a little bit less than before or a little bit more. Same thing with the medium. There's certain areas where I use a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, so don't think that it's just like just these three and everything is just gonna fall right on to like one of these three levels of thickness. It, it's gonna be uh, quite a variation in between all of them. So if you're working on a painting and you have this happen, what do you do? Can you save it? Is your painting ruined? Should you just give up and throw it away? Absolutely not. If this ever happens, just take a palette knife and do this. Scrape as much of it off as you can. Now you're not gonna get all of it off by any means, but you're definitely gonna keep it a lot thinner. So now, if you want, because it's still the same same uh, rule we're talking about here, thin or thick over thin. So if your paint's not working, scrape it down, make it thin paint, and you'll be able to go right over top of it with whatever else you wanna do. Now, if you don't have a palette knife, you can just use a paper towel and wipe as much of it off as you can. Uh, let's say that this happened a few days ago and you, the paint is dry and you can't scrape it off with a palette knife. What should you do? Well, you could uh, get some sandpaper and just sand down the paint a little bit. I do a lot with canvases that I have uh, used before or have a painting on it. I'll just sand it down as much as I can and paint over top of it. So I recommend just getting a canvas pad like I had in the demonstration there and just playing around with the paint. You know, play around with it being thinner in certain areas and going over it with thicker paint, you know, using some medium, using uh, uh, Gamsol, using nothing at all, and really just kind of figure out and see what works. I feel like that will give you a better grasp of how to control and use the paint faster than say just figuring out through painting after painting after painting, which you can still do. That's a great way to practice just by painting. Um, but if you want to kind of like streamline it and just focus on one specific aspect, I would recommend just getting canvas paper that you don't care that too much about, or maybe you have an old canvas that you're not going to use that has some 
bad painted on it and you can just practice with that. So just keep practicing. So if you have questions about oil paint, please leave those questions in the comment section. I will answer those in a later video. I know a lot of you have left uh, questions. I haven't gotten to those because I felt that this topic deserved its own episode because I've ran this question many times in comments and also in my private coaching. We've talked about this as well. So leave those questions and I will answer those. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I also offer you this video and this video. Please choose one. They're both good.